This is a tutorial on fractions and decimals. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to add some fractions and we're going to get a decimal answer. So the first thing is we're going to do 1 divided by 2 or 1 half plus the fraction 2 fifths, so 2 divided by 5, plus the fraction 3 sevenths. So all we're doing is using a division symbol because a fraction is division. If we enter this we're going to get a nice little long decimal answer here which what if we want this as a fraction answer versus a decimal? So very simply what we could do is press math and it says frac, which means fraction. So we're going to press enter and then we're going to press enter again to initiate that command. So once it does it, it shoots out that improper fraction of 93 seventieths and that would be a cool way to do it. But what if you actually want a mixed fraction? Well, what we could do really easily is press alpha and then this y equals. And if you look here, we have a menu of things, which if we go to number three, we can either click three or scroll down to number three and press enter. And this will be a command to turn it into a mixed fraction. So now we have one and 23 seventieths as our mixed fraction. What if I had a fraction like this and I wanted it as a decimal? So very simply, there's an easy way. We can either press math and go down to decimal number two and do that or I'm going to quit out of this, or we could also do a way of, if I go back up to this number, we're going to enter it or paste it back into it, and then we're going to do times one point nothing, and it's just saying I want a decimal now, so if we press that, it's going to change it back to the decimal. So that's one way we could do that with fractions. So now let's do that a different way. So what if I want to add those fractions again? So I can do and use this alpha command again. So we're going to press alpha and this y equals. This n over d is your fraction key again. So we're going to press that. And we can do our one half. So one and then arrow down and two. And then arrow to the right to take it back out of it. And a plus sign. So now we have one half and we're going to do alpha y equals again. Press that same thing. And now we're going to do two down arrow fifths. Get out of it now a plus sign and then we're going to do three fifths so alpha and y equals we'll press that same thing and we'll do three over seven and we'll get out of that and then we have all those fractions written nicely and we can press enter again and now we get 93 seventieths so this way is a little bit longer than doing it the way where you just do one divided by two plus two divided by five plus 3 divided by 7, and then what we could do is just press math frac, and it should give us a fraction answer. So both ways work. You can choose how to do which way you want. So, and remember, you can always change that back to a mixed fraction by going back alpha y equals, and you go down to this function here, function 3. You can just click 3, and it actually works, and then press enter, and we have a mixed fraction. So that is the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it.